So group number two, this is your November prediction. So if you did choose the last um, crystal ball that was there um, for group number two, this is going to be about your reading so that we can figure out what the predictions are for November or what you all have to be working on or what is going on. I have to say with this group also, there was a lot of fatigue, a lot of uh, tired feeling. I don't know if a lot of you have been going through, um, you know, trouble maybe sleeping or trouble getting up or trouble trouble kind of going throughout your day. I kind of could sense that a lot from Spirit too, that you guys have really, really been having a lot of those type of issues. Even if you're trying to go to sleep, you're tossing and turning, you're thinking about a lot of things. So hopefully in November, we can kind of take a look at that and look at something different that you guys would be doing in order to help yourself um, sleep essentially. So we're going to jump right into this reading and see what's going on. Yeah, ritual. Not surprised here because I feel like a lot of you have to come to terms with that, have to start a ritual of some kind because I have to say group number two, I really, really feel like you guys are just completely blocked. There's something that's happening where you are tired, you are fatigued, you know, the self-care is just like out the window. So this says, can you feel them? Wild creatures linked by the very blood you will spill into your craft. A ritual of dedication to self and those who gaze whose gazes hold fire but whose whispers carry you softly through the unknown. So that is just a very very important thing to also note that there is this type of dedication that you have to have to yourself that you have to have in order to craft something to create something to work with the craft you have to do rituals to kind of put that feeling out there and I think in November a lot of you guys are really really going to be kind of uh putting that out into the universe or trying to get more rest or kind of being more self-contained into yourself. I mean, again, we are coming into the winter months if you do live um, pretty much anywhere, but also too, if you're an Easterner, Westerner, you know, Southerner, you will be having different se seasons of change or different things that you will be going through. And ritual is a good part to bring it all back to kind of start in that magical place and kind of to know what do you want to have happen? What are you trying to conjure up that would give you some type of peace of mind? What type of self-care things are you doing, group number two in November, that are going to help you? Yeah, so we have this dark moon energy, which shows me a couple of different things, and I will explain that. We have the, you know, 13, unlucky for some. In the dark of your heart lives new breath waiting for you to release its ghost. So this is kind of interesting, because not only am I thinking, group number two, that a lot of you are tired because you can't get a self-care ritual going or a ritual practice going. The other thing I think is happening is two things. One, I think that you're dealing with a lot of vampiric energy that's around you that's kind of sapping a lot of your goodness or sapping a lot of the feelings that you could have or the stamina that you can have because you're around those type of energies. The other thing that could be happening is that you yourself are going through a dark night of the soul and you are trying to release past pain, abuse, mental anguish that you've been feeling these past months. You have to try and release, you know, the past a lot of times. And I really think that ritual meditation would actually help that group number two um, for you to kind of cast these dark spirits, this unlucky feeling out of your life in November because you are going on towards the future, towards better things, group number two. And I think that if you hold on to this negative vampiric energy, you are never going to release anything more that is positive. So letting that go is very important. I know, you know, especially even for myself, group number two, that that is very, very difficult to do. But at the same time, these cards would not be coming up unless universe was 100% sure that this could be possible for you, that you could release that dark night of the soul energy. Yeah, for you guys, I'm really, really sensing that there is going to be a lot of self-care that you are going 
going to have to look into in November. If it's, you know, caring for yourself physically, um, that's important. Caring for yourself mentally, emotionally, um, you know, ritual comes up and then we have the crystals and herbs. Oh, what medicine, what sacredness to behold a dash of healing straight from mother's home, which basically means, you know, if you are dealing with a sickness, if you are dealing with negative energy, if you are dealing with things that you cannot control, crystals, herbs help all of that. You know, even if you guys want to look some crystals up that could help with anxiety, um, depression, or you can look up some crystals that would help with healing or uh, self-care or things that are more important for you to get rid of that type of energy that's holding you so strongly, group number two. Whatever that energy is, it's almost like you keep coming back to it like a moth to a flame, but it's not helping you. It's not helping you to release anything that is being pent up within you. And in November, you're going to be using a lot of self-help, um, possibly if you guys are into meditation or Reiki, or you're going to be using things to cleanse a lot of your own heart, your soul, your mind, um, because you guys have really, really been going through it and you guys have really, really been feeling like there is no end in sight. There is no end that's going to happen to make it be better for you. But again, you have to do the work for the self-care and for the releasing. Yeah, the coming of winter. So I really, really feel like a lot of you guys are gathering, you're harvesting, you're trying to help yourself in a lot of ways before the coming of winter. When I also think you guys, group number two, are really, really going to have a massive change that is going to occur. Change seems to be the overall theme lately of these readings, especially with group number one also. Um, yours, I think, is going to be coming of winter when you can actually gain an answer about what you're trying to let go of. It comes in lullabies deep with within your mirrored flesh. Alas, it is time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming, which means that Group number two, if you guys prepare a lot this November to basically bring on winter, bring on a different type of situation for yourself, bring on a more magical time of year. Uh, you know, I think with this group, it's so important to release a lot of that negative. You guys have really, really been feeling it this year and you guys really need to start to look for a new beginning, a new way of living, um, to release things, to cleanse things out. If you guys need to do a home cleansing, um, you know, that would also be extremely helpful to kind of cleanse out the energies because the truth is your home should be a haven group number two. It should be a place that you can go to where you feel comfortable. And right now, group number two, I feel like none of you feel comfortable anywhere. And that's really, really sad because there should be a sacred altar, a sacred space, um, a ritualistic space that you can go to that can help you to kind to develop these type of intuitions and these feelings. And I think that when winter comes, you're going to be in a very different place than where you are currently right now. I don't sense that this was a relationship that's really kind of doing this to you. I sense it's a lot of the energies that are around you, group number one, constantly. Yeah, so this ritual, like I said, with the self-help and the healing and things like that, you are good enough. This full moon in Virgo is very, very very important. This Virgo energy has to let you know of your inner beauty, of let you know that you are good enough to take care of yourself. You, you know, group number two, you can't take care of anyone else spiritually, mentally, or emotionally if you cannot take care of yourself first. And that is something even with me, you guys, oh, I struggle with it plenty of times. Um, it's hard when you're an empath, a psychic, um, a medium. It's hard when you can see things that other people can't and that you feel like you are the person that is doing somebody wrong or doing someone dirty or having something go on that just you feel so down that even when you're conjuring, even when you're trying to practice or, you know, even if some of you do practice the craft or are trying to put something into your you know,
know, fruition, be it praying, being whatever you believe in. The thing is, is that you are always in the back of your minds, group number two, saying that people are talking about you, that you're not good enough, that you can't have certain things in life, um, you know, which brings on this dark moon energy where you have got to give up the ghost. If you've been trying to do something for so long and you've been being told this, that, and the other, it's time to move on to make yourself in a better situation. Yeah, the siren. So I'm not surprised about this either. So we have a temptation may lead you astray, which is very important to me because there's a couple of different things that I could foresee happening that spirit's letting me know. First of all, the temptation could be that you yourself can walk away from the ritual, walk away from praying, walk away from what you have been going through, and you can go towards the darker energy, that vampiric energy where you yourself feel down and negative, and then that reflects on other people. Or if someone is going to tell you something, group number two, that you might not want to hear, there are ways to go about dealing with that, the self loathing or the pain or anything else like that you can't allow that to tempt you in any type of way because you are good enough you are on the ritualistic path you are doing what you need to do for you right now at this time you can't let someone else uh determine your greatness great uh group number two you can't let someone else determine your greatness it's too much um you have clearly the energy of manifest Manifesting, you have the energy to kind of put your will out there. You just can't allow negative people or negative circumstances to just cloud your judgment as to what is going on um, or tempt you for that matter. Yeah, so we do have the emperor. So I'm really, really sensing group number two. You guys are tempted a lot by the divine masculine power energy. So this can be power about money. This can be power over people. This can be power over yourself. Um, you are very, very much wanting to be the best of the best and wanting to be almost close to perfect group number two. But that cannot happen and you can never find someone else who is like that. That is the the thing. If you are looking for a relationship right now, this is a perfect example. You are asking and wishing for the wrong things, group number two, because you cannot have perfection. You cannot have so much of the divine masculine without the divine feminine. You need a balance in your own heart, which is why they, we need the crystals and the herbs, the coming of winter, a chance for you to figure out what do you truly want out of life, group number two. In November, that that's going to happen. What do you want out of relationships? What do you want out of out of love? What do you want out of career? What do you want out of your life to not just lead with the masculine? Yeah, but we do have the empress also, which shows me a couple of different things that you guys are trying to balance out that divine masculine with the divine feminine. But also you're trying to cultivate something, group number two. I feel like you're trying to change something or cultivate something. And I feel like there's a lot of naysayers. I feel like there's a lot of negativity. Um, communication is not very strong either, group number two, which can be causing you the disruptions in your own soul with this. But the other thing is too, is you are having a very difficult time finding a proper balance for this situation of what is happening. So that is also... um a good point to kind of note with this empress and this emperor card that's happening here. Yeah, so I'm not surprised because when we have the star, we talk about that Aquarian energy. We talk about the water bearer. We talk about a wish being fulfilled, a wish that is going to occur, that something miraculous is just going to happen to you to balance out these two different types of energies. There is a part of you, group number two, that wants to be that strong masculine and divine energy and then there is a part of you that also likes the feminine energy it's just the fact of what do you lead with how do you conjure that how do you conjure good good situations instead of negative situations how do you allow uh, um, the ritual to help other people helping yourself um, that the star is very much about humanity it's about gifts it's about wishing it's about knowing what you know and trying to find that out 
Wow. Yeah, so we have the moon energy here, which I'm not surprised by because when we have the moon, we also do have the star. So the star is trying to get you to balance out these energies to figure out what is happening. The moon is basically showing you that not everything group number two is as it seems. So what you are conjuring or wishing for may or may not be in November the correct thing for you. It might be spirit trying to lead you on a different path to make you let go of the past, um, to make you kind of let go of things that could have really, really hurt you in the past. But now it's time for you to see the truth, much like group number one, but in a different context. You have to see the truth within yourself. Who are you? What is the good parts about you? What are the not so good parts about you? Um, you know, and then kind of go from there with the balance so that you can in turn love yourself group number two yeah a fiery climax approaches with the full moon in Aries not surprised about this because we have the dark moon we have the moon we have a lot of this shadow energy that's playing tricks on your mind group number two that someone is either being deceptive a job is being deceptive something is being deceptive in your life that you cannot determine what is going on and it's caused Causing you this dark moon energy you can't let go of the past because it was so deceiving but now there's going to be a climax moment where this is going to change for the better where it is going to hit you like a ton of bricks group number two that you're going to realize that you have to make that that difference that change that ability um you might get a different offer or opportunity we're going to see what happens there or get a different perspective on a lover or a person that you feel it yes uh, Absolutely. So we have the Harlequin here. The true feelings are masked, which I am noticing that a lot with this moon energy that's occurring here, group number two. There is a lot of feelings and emotions that are that communication piece that um it, it, and spirit is just talking a mile a minute to me because I think that they want me to kind of reiterate this. The communication is important, but communication is not important if you do not believe what is being communicated is true. In other words, so basically there is a lot of people around you, group number two, that are trying to wear masks around you. They're not being clear with you. They are not being genuine. Um, you know, that moon energy is kind of coming in and going out and I think that what this means is that you are going to see for the first time who is drawing that negative energy out to you who is casting that kind of spell on you so that you can unmask the person who is doing this to you and then um give them that opportunity. Yeah, so we have the page of pentacles which kind of is interesting because this means that there is something um, you know, being hidden from you in a lot of ways having to do with manifestation, money, career, uh, creativity, the ability to kind of control one's own wealth and access. There is something happening there where you are not being told the full truth. Thus, the reason why you are craving a new beginning with that knave of pentacles because you want to start something different because you know that you are not being told the truth, group number two in whatever situation you are in. It could be a career. It could be a job. It could be a lover. It could be a marriage. You just know that something is not being truthful there completely. You just don't know what it is. Yeah, so we have also the Knight of Pentacles. So there's also a part of you too that within this negative energy, there's a part of you that wants to get the balance of the money, resources, having your own career, your own situation. I have a sense from you guys, group number two that you people do not like to accept charity you don't like to not be able to be independent and on your own with certain things um you know people have really really upset you um a lot in the past too so now that is also extremely frustrating for a lot of you um and that has basically caused you some pain or some issues. Um, yeah, the Eight of Potions, so the Eight of Cups, you really, really feel like there is a part of you with this dark energy that it is sapping pretty much all of the energy that you could possibly have 
out of your situation. So it's so you're feeling like you are left with pretty much nothing. Now, I don't know, group number two, if this happened in a business venture where you felt like you were lost or didn't have enough of something, if someone tried to trick you and deceive you. I don't know if this could have been a divorce situation. Um, I'm not seeing the five of pentacles anywhere yet. Um, so I don't know if there was a separation there where you felt like you got the short end of the deal, so to speak, with this dark moon energy. I do not know that. All I know is, is that with this, um, you know, uh, how do I say this with this, uh, you know, potions card, the cup card, it's very easy for us to see what we don't have versus to see what we do have, or what we can do to fix the situation. And that is to let that dark energy go. Yeah. So again, um, with the with the six of cups, you know, we also have that uh, not the seven of cups with the decision, but the six of cups where you feel like you were um, betrayed in some type of way. You feel like in a lot of ways that that energy that you thought you can count on because you thought you knew the truth, group number two, in November, things are going to become a lot different for you emotionally because you are going to feel like you were betrayed by someone or something or something was said about you or gossip, slander. Something was happening there that you could not get a full grip on because you didn't have enough information in order to make that happen. So that kind of plummeted your self-care and your self-realization that you are good enough and that you do matter. I'm also going to ask Spirit in my own mind about this. I'm not sensing that it is, but I am sensing that there is a lot of cleansing that needs to happen for you in some type of way. I don't know if this was an affair or not. I don't know if you all saw something that you shouldn't or felt something that you shouldn't for someone else. I am not sure that but just that dark uh, with the potions energy, with that cups energy is just making me think that you cannot release the past because you think that you were involved, group number two. You think that a part of this issue is your problem and a part of it is, but not the way that people are acting. You can only control yourself, group number two. You cannot control others. And if others want to commit the pain upon you, if others want to shadow you, uh, in any type of way or not show you the true light of themselves, then those are the type of people that you can't, you know, go after. Those are the type of people that you have to be who you are in spite of everything in that situation. Yeah, so th that's why I'm saying your dreams need a practical plan. We have the full moon in Taurus. There is no grounding energy that is happening here. A lot of this stuff is either very much ethereal, it's up in the air, there are emotions that are running high, there is this change that has to occur. Um, you know, you guys might have been dreaming to get out of a different position, get into a new career. You know, people could have ghosted you, people could have let you, you know, not answered, or they could have, you know allowed you to have that negative energy and have no release for it. But now it's telling you that with the crystals and herbs that are coming in here, that card, it's a cleansing card. It's a clean card. It's something where you can start a fresh new start. But the dreams that you're having, you have to be practical and logical about them in order to get to the coming of winter. I also see a lot of you guys planning goals in November for yourselves, um, planning, you know, what you would like to do for the rest of the year. Yeah. And then we also have the shield, which is showing us that you are safe from harm. Because here's the thing, with all of this kind of trickery going on in the masks that are being worn and the people that are using that dark, uh, vampiric dark energy as a way to get through them shadow selves, that is not supposed to affect you in any type of way because you are supposed to be working from spirit group number two. That is why you are protected because there is a part of you that is working towards spirit and this could not happen if you were not a true believer in the ritual of praying, of being connected, of knowing that there's something more going on than meets the eye, um, that there has been some deception to you in your life and that in November you're going to see this deception become even clearer because you're not going to continue to put up with it. Um, yeah, we also have the Queen of Pentacles too, which is showing that there is a distinct difference between the Knight and the Queen because you are going to be rising and that's what's important to remember 
remember, the people who are here to wear the masks, to lie to you, group number two, to tell you whatever they think you want to hear, they are not the true people that you need in your life. You need that Queen of Pentacles energy because like the Queen of Pentacles gives, she can also take it away. And that's the power that you need. You need some type of power to kind of give yourself, group number two, in November, but also to, to kind of take it away. Know your limits. Know what you are about. Know what the situation is. And then you can balance out not only in the pentacles energy with the money, but also or the career or manifestation, but you can also do it in life with the emperor and the empress. So this is all about balancing out those energies, having the king in you when you need to and having the queen in you when you need to. And Moving on from that, yes, yeah, so we definitely have the chariot. You guys are going to have something very cataclysmic happen and climactic that is going to basically be what you have always wanted. But the thing is, is that you guys, I feel like more so than most, have been looking for a partnership. And that is not occurring. Things are becoming very one-sided, very deceptive. But there is going to be an opportunity for you to kind of move on from that and to have a fresh new start, to take that ride, to know that everything that you have been wishing for and wanting in the ritual is going to be coming true to you at some type of point group number two. We have the Ace of Needles or the Ace of Swords, which denotes that there could be a new beginning sometime in the spring, which you're going to notice in November can start this kind of transition from happening, that this new beginning is going to give you what you need to heal yourself self group number two to heal yourself um so that is also going to be occurring so a lot of good things yes yeah, see i told you a win-win outcome is forecast with the full moon in libra that stuff in winter is going to balance itself out whatever you guys are going through with this treachery the masks the not seeing the full truth um overcoming your own dark night of the soul but then letting things go that a win-win is going to happen for you you just have to wait for the coming winter. You, um, group number two, you guys have been very, very patient with yourselves. You've been patient with others. You want to desperately move on um, in October. But the thing is, is that in order for you to communicate effectively, you need the time right now to plan, to make things into reality. If you want to move on to something else or move past something else, you still should have the opportunity yeah, so we have conflict and danger lie in wait with the dagger. So we have to understand, too, that even though there is a win-win situation, group number two, in November, there are going to be those people who are wearing the masks over here with the dark night of the moon, that these people want you to stay in that perpetual state of fear, of anxiousness, of sorrow, of pain. They want you to stay in that and they do not want you to win in any type of capacity. I'm sensing if you guys have careers, you guys have a lot of cutthroat careers. There is a lot of things where there is a lot of competition in your life group number two and in November you are going to start to realize what is important to you um, how do you balance out those two energies how can you feel for someone by you know being a certain way that you are but you cannot allow those people to kind of come back to you you cannot allow that temptation to happen because it's not going to give you the best results that you need so be on the lookout for that as well yes yeah, See, I told you. So when you have the um, the betrayal that occurs here um, with the um, Ten of Swords, I'm so sorry, you guys, because I was thinking. So when you have this betrayal with the Ten of Swords, we have the dagger with the, you know, we have the Ace of Swords. When you realize who has betrayed you, group um, number two, and you're going to find this out very quickly, um, that in the past or even now, you feel like you are going to be betrayed by someone who is close or someone, there's something where the mask is going to come off and you are 
are going to see this person for who they truly are, what they have done to you, what they have said to you, what their feelings were, you know, all of this with the conflict that you're sensing. And the crazy thing is, is that you are going to move on past this in the winter because you are seeing the betrayal happen for the first time. Yes. And then of course we have um, the nine of swords, which is kind of interesting because the nine of swords are more indicative of um, uh, taking what you need, in other words, but also kind of being on the lookout for this kind of betrayal that could occur with people trying to cause conflict to you. So just to kind of look out for that process of starting with the Nine of Swords and then moving towards the Ten of Swords, um, that you have the opportunity to collect a lot of mental wisdom in regards to this before the coming of winter of who you need to put into your life, group number two, and who you need to keep out of your life. Yeah, so we have the page of candles which is great because you have that new beginning or the page of wands energy which is fire energy which is kind of lighting the fire underneath you to kind of move about this change for the coming winter it gives you warmth it gives you happiness you no longer can feel the person's betrayal you are ready to move on from this you have communicated all that you can communicate and of course we have the four of cups which is great because of the fact that there is something that's spirit is clearly giving you in the winter that is a gift you are going to have to make a choice group number two as to what do you want in your life like I said before what is it that you want truly to move on from with this dark energy and is spirit going to offer you a gift of some kind because you are able to see through the truth and you can feel that you have got to move on by the time that December does come around in whatever way that is. Now again, this could be a relationship that gone south. It could be, you know, a, a job that just didn't work out, a career that you thought you were going to have forever and now the circumstances circumstances have changed. Spirit is going to put you on a different path, group number two, and a path that you never ever saw coming. Yep. And we have the judgment card, which shows me that there is going to be a situation where you are going to have to make a choice, make a judgment, light your own way through the betrayal, and that a judgment is going to be made by spirit to you, but also to others, group number two, to others who have tried to betray you. You know, it says, you know, very karma is a very strong thing. I don't know if you guys believe in that, group number two, but if you have been wronged, you know, the universe has a way to cross everybody off their list. If you get my meaning here with what we're seeing, there is a way that spirit will show you how to get out of the betrayals. But at the same time that you cannot be the judge, jury and executioner of other people, you have got to allow spirit to do that for you, give you the choice to move past this type of judgmental situation that you're having, Um, you know, the toxic environments that you're dealing with and let universe handle how they're going to handle that for your future because you need to be focusing group number two on your own spiritual health on your own healing and not the treachery or the things that are going on with betrayals of other people so just to kind of keep that in mind group number two I hope that this reading for November really did help all of you as always please like and subscribe to the channel so that I can continue to do pick a card readings or I can continue to make other videos and I hope to talk to you all soon.